until he comes out, you can just break a little bit of it apart. Hey, okay, Maya? No. Can you break some of it apart? Cassandra? Me? Yeah. Me? All right. October, we got a three drawer worm compost bin, and I wanted to teach the kids about the science of how worms eat your garbage. So it sounds funny, but they eat the organic things like uh, um, mainly vegetables, fruits, scraps, things like that, and bread. Not a lot of citrus, but some, and no meat. And I wanted them to see how the worms, red worms in particular, are the kinds that you use. And they, um, you, you put the food in, you make some bedding for the worms, and you put it in the drawer, like paper, anything made out of wood can be the bedding for the worms. And you put the worms in, and then every week you add food scraps. So we, we got the food scraps for the, uh, for my room every week, and my students fed the worms all the way up until April. And then, um, we expanded from there. Um, what made you want to apply for the grant? I wanted to expand. I wanted to have a school garden in addition to, to the worm compost. And I, I wanted to have an outside worm compost. And the bins were like five, six hundred dollars. So I thought, well, if I apply for a grant, we could see if we could get some money for a fence for the garden, for a worm compost bin, and for the vegetables and stuff for my students to learn. Um, how long is the grant? It was for, um, well, I said when I filled it out, it was for a three-year process. Um, so I'd say for three years. Um, how much was the grant? I, you put down um, what you need, you give them an estimate of everything that you want to buy, and I was able to, I was fortunate and got $1,150. Um, how do the kids like it? The kids absolutely love it. It's, it's hands-on learning. They, they say, they know, I know that now our kids belong to the environmental club too, and this year we're trying to do recycling. Um, and we're doing it in the cafeteria now. But if my students knew about it last year, they would, anybody that came in the room, they'd say, this is where the cans go, this is where the bottles go, and this is where the food for the worms go. So they would separate everything, which I thought was fantastic, because all the students at Pepper were doing it, my students were kind of in the forefront. And they, they um, have cognitive disabilities, so they, you know, I just think it's cool because they can show how much they know how to do and how well they can learn. So they love being part of it. Then when we got the outdoor one, um, we got the money, we got the outdoor work compost. It's right by the courtyard. It's in the, um, by the, uh, um, what do you call it, the greenhouse. So we were able to get, dig one 15 by uh, 17 feet. The students did all the digging and planting and take, took care of it all summer long. And, and we made vegetable soup with the harvest. It was really great. So they, they really do well. Um, what are their responsibilities? Um, this year we're, we do recycling too. So a certain group does the recycling. We gotta go to the cafeteria, get out the bottles and sort them so we can, uh, we can take them to the recycling center. Uh, one group has the composting every day, so they go get the, we collect uh, the coffee grounds from different areas of, of the school that have, that have coffee. We collect our food from the kitchen, and uh, the, so now not only from our room do we get the kitchen scraps, but we get them from our comfort kitchen. And uh, so that's a job. They have to go get those, they have to get the food, and we have to take it out to the garden and we have to um, put the food, you know, mix it up and put the bedding in. It could be, um, could be wood chips, it could be um, paper shredding, leaves, grass. That's a good thing for the summer that they like. So every time you put in some food, you put in some of that bedding. So they have to do all of that. And another big job is we'd like to have someday, if we got another grant, some kind of a grinder 
to grind up the food because the big job is getting the clippers or scissors and cutting up the food because the worms process it easier if it's small. Okay. Um, do any other schools participate in the program? Um, Harborside Academy, they have some raised beds, that they have some land, so they do a lot of planting and um, uh, Frank Elementary has a small garden. Dimensions of Learning, um, they're in the process of getting a garden. So there's there's other grants that can be applied for, for school gardens because it's quite a big um, push from uh, the different, uh, I'm not sure, which, maybe it's the federal government or really want school to get into it because it's such an environmental learning uh, opportunity. So I'd like a lot of the, we go to the environmental club with a lot of the regular education students at Trumper and I'd like more kids to get involved in that and they can help with the um, garden, the work composting, or um, we also feed the birds out there. We're going to have a butterfly station um, and um, I'm trying to think of what else I was, I lost one thought I had of of another job that we had. Oh, we're getting a rain garden in the future. We, we planned on having a, a, that's another whole thing. The environmental club and my students are going to be providing here at Trevor. So it it's really helps to, the whole thing is like caring for the earth because that's, that's the name of our project, caring for the earth. We're a composting project. So um, the worms not putting all that food in the, in the uh, landfills, that really helps to keep things from not polluting. They, they can just reprocess and it makes really good dirt for eventually we could combine with the business department and sell, sell the um, worm castings. So it's, it's, it's really, they not only eat the garbage, but they produce something really good that you can use for your plants and garden. Um, how do you go about applying for the grant? Well, I brought the application here. The application is on the uh, on our Trumper website or the KUSD website. You can get it October 15th, fact December 15th, or February 15th. Those are the three times, and you you just fill out your application, what you want, you put your budget down, what you're going to spend the money on, what your project is, and right here, what you're what you'd like to get, and the reason why, what it, you know, the educational goals that you want to achieve. You put it in, and then if, if the committee, they look at it, if the committee likes it, they'll call you and say, all right, we'd like you to come in and defend your, your grant, what we would like to do. So then you go in, and sit, there's about, I don't know, 15 people maybe on the committee, and you talk about what you're going to do, and then and you wait a couple weeks, and they tell you, and they call you and tell you, you got it. <laughs> I was really happy with that. Okay, all right, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. I think if we can get that much dirt, really good dirt from the worm compost, it'll even grow better. But we grew quite a, quite a bit. We'll probably talk about that in the interview, huh? We grew vegetables, but also we grew tomatoes.